Good day, everybody. This is Darren the Devil, back with Devilish Sense. Today, I'm doing a quick first impressions on the brand Chanteran Maturations. This brand has only three perfumes in their repertoire. Uh, the last one was made in 2015, I believe. This was the last one that they made with perfumer Cecile Hue. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, so, I'm going to get into it. Stay tuned. <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Devilish Sense. Like I said, I'm going over a brand, Chanteron Maturations. I do need to do a quick shout-out to uh, this a good buddy of mine, his name's David G, and I've gotten so many perfumes off of him that he doesn't even need my address anymore. Just did the unboxing on that. Oh gosh, okay. I should have expected this from David. It's like a bomb. Look at that. Now hopefully I'll do this quick so I won't have to fast forward anything. Oh yeah, look at me. I think I'm getting down my my craft, guys. Like it's Christmas. Oh, oh, here we go. Look at that. Um, there's the same uh, something on the back too. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get into it. So this one is Rainbow Asphalt. Or Asphalt Rainbow, sorry. Ooh. A little bit dirty. Okay. Oh! What is this? There's something in there. Oh, it's like rose. I think there's rose petals inside this little thing. That's what was inside the cap. Ah, how interesting. Not much of a smell to that. Okay, now let's pull out the, ooh, look at that little satchel. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Wow, this is a, ooh, look at that. All right, this is a nice feel. I like this. Ooh, oh, it's not even a satchel. It's, oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. It's very nice felt. Oh my gosh. Oh, so soft, so soft. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the 30 ml that I got. It only, the biggest size you can get is 30 ml, as you can see, asphalt rainbow. Pretty cool. Uh, it's a stock bottle, but I like the you know, the, the asphalt rainbow and their, I think that's their brand insignia. It's a little different. Let me see if I can, let's see here guys. So it's an M on the bottom here and there's like a gust of wind following all the way up to a bird. It looks like a map of some sort. Uh, there's trees and stuff and little landmarks kind of hard to see okay let's get into it guys so like I said first impressions ooh I can smell it already this something fruity in there a little bit of spice okay it does smell like fruity and spicy let's see the sprayer oh whoa nice nice distribution whoa it got me wet Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, boys. Sorry about that. Oh, 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 this is nice. Rose. Oh, a nice, damp, lush rose. It's a pretty rose, and there's something fruity in there. Very fruity and vibrant, like apricot or some lychee or uh, something like that there's something very fruity coming through with that rose it's very pretty it, it, there's like a, a 
a hue of a lang lang in there. I'm just getting that prettiness right now. I feel very pretty. <laughs> Let me do uh, one more spray. Jeez, that's still wet. Maybe I'll just wait a second, guys. Let's wait it out. Okay. This is changing now. Okay. Now I'm starting to get an as the asphalt. This is the asphalt. So the rainbow, I think, is the fruity florals that are going on. The lang lang, the rose, the 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 fruitiness that I can't pick up with that asphalt like an asphalt right after it rained it's like as though someone was holding a bouquet of roses with a you know or yeah a bouquet of flowers not just roses and there's definitely lily of the valley in this as well just kind of on the bottom there and they they had it in a you know in a in a bag full of exotic fruits that I really can't pick up. And they were going down the street, and then all of a sudden, right after it rained, they just dropped everything. And then it got hit by a car. And then the smell like I was the guy who dropped my roses or my floral bouquet with all my fruit, and then just watched it got ran over by a semi, and just all the the rainbow just right over my head. This is nice. It seems a little bit more femme, but seems like it would work great um, on a more of a spring day. This is more of a rainy day over here. But even on a rainy day, like it's, I would say maybe 50, 60 degrees over in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm still getting, uh, you know, it's it's softer, but it seems like with that asphalt note, it would actually work well on a rainy day as well. It's very soft, though. Let me... I'm... There's something else in here, like a, a greenness. Like, maybe like galbanum or something. With those florals, the lily, the lang, the rose, with that asphalt. I'm not really picking up anything else. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. Gosh, this was good. Chanteron maturations. Really, I hope you guys do. I, I need to check out their other two perfumes. Uh, the other two perfumes, one was made by Cecile Huey again. Uh, that one was based off of... Uh, what the Queen of Egypt wore, uh, jeez, oh uh, Cleopatra, and she worked with an actual museum to smell certain ingredients uh, in maturations that she wore, and then composed that fragrance. So I really want to try that, and the other one, I, I can't remember the name, but it looked like an old school Shepra. Um, really nice. That fruity opening with that rose, it's very pretty. It reminds me of the color pink. Like, like, uh, like pink chapstick. But that rose in there really uh, matures this a bit. And once that asphalt note in there, uh, this actually is bringing a song to my mind. This fragrance kind of reminds me of the song Concrete Jungle by Bob Marley. Concrete Jungle, Jungle, Jungle! Yeah, this would be a perfect fragrance to represent that song. Who? I think there's a suede accord mixing in. I'm just getting it now. Like a suede accord mixing in with that asphalt. You can tell this is not very natural, but gosh, it it it's not sickeningly sweet. It's very composed, juxtaposed with the the sweetness, with that asphalt, the white, clean suede that kind of bellows on the bottom there. I don't know why I was spelling spice off this. I'm not getting very much spice. It might have been just the wet asphalt note. 
I will, once uh, all three of the perfumes had a great story behind them, once I do a full review on this closer to the summertime, which I have some bangers lined up for you guys, I'll tell you guys the full story on this and the full note breakdown. Hopefully I didn't lead you guys astray, but I think my nose is pretty on par today. I, I was feeling pretty groovy. Anyway. Thank you for coming back. This is Darren the Devil back with Devilish Sense. If this is your first time here, please leave a like down below. And if you like what you saw today, please subscribe if you want to keep it locked with the devil. To all my viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. And I told you I was back, guys. <laughs> I'm doing more videos now more than ever. So if this is your first time subscribing, get ready for the Devilish Sense. Thank you so much. <sighs>